A great way to embrace your faith is with Bible study. Hi, I'm Peggy Brown, and I love Jesus, and I love Bible study. This is my second study Bible. The first one, fell, the maps fell out. The second one, the front and the back covers fell off, so I had to get this cover to protect it. In it I underline passages in it. I write, huh, when I don't understand something that I've read by myself and look forward to meeting with my class. Plus, I like different versions of the Bible. I started taking Bible study classes here in 1992. That was 19 years ago. 19 years of Disciple 1, Disciple 2, Disciple 3, Disciple 4, and then there was Jesus in the Gospels, the fifth Disciple class. I even got training from Leander Keck uh, to lead that one. That was way cool. Alpha Bible study by that British guy. Remember that one? Then there was Christian Believer, the 30-week study of um, Christian doctrine. That was a doozy. Beth Moore studies, Mickey Eford studies, um, short studies, long studies, lots of prep, little bit of prep. Bible study, it's a sure enough way to grow your faith. Hello, my name is Carl Phillips, and I've been asked to speak to you today about men's groups. I've been involved in a men's group since its inception, which I think has probably been about five or six years ago. Uh, we have uh, about eight men's groups involved around the church. We're not really age-specific. Um, we're more time frame specific. We have a lot of groups that meet in the morning, a couple in the afternoon. Uh, we certainly would like to form some evening men's groups if the need exists. Uh, but I wanted to share with you a little bit about what I get from being involved in a men's group. We do everything that we can to try to um, encounter, embrace, and embody the Spirit. And uh, that, that seems to happen almost, almost every week, uh, whether it be through Bible study or a book review. Uh, most recently, I wanted to share with you a story that, that happened in the 30, Thursday morning men's group, which I'm involved in, which involved Ed Duda, who's one of our regular attendees. And Ed is probably the greatest example of someone who um, embraces and embodies the spirit. Uh, Ed is involved in elder care, uh, and he usually has to leave early from our group, and he shared with us last Thursday morning that he gets so much out of the group, and he enjoys going and, and talking to uh, his, his clients about what we talk about in the group. So Ed's the kind of individual that that takes what he learns here and, and uses it outside our four walls. I would encourage you to hopefully consider experiencing um, that kind of a group. Uh, and we'd welcome you to join any of the existing groups. The information's available on our webs on the church's website. Uh, if you have a particular need with a time frame and would like to start a new group, we would do everything that we can to help you uh, make that happen. Thank you. You so quietly. Good morning. My name is Doug Fairburn, and we all know that this is a great church, but I think one of the best things we've got going for us here is adult Sunday school classes. And folks, what better way to truly embrace and experience the Holy Spirit than through one of these groups? Did you know that on any given Sunday that there's about 250 people attending a Sunday school class here? Now, that means about one-third of all the people that have come to church that day are in some sort of class. Just a wonderful way to be able to experience the Holy Spirit through other people. Now, if you're in one of these classes, you know just how special it is. For me, I've been in my class for 19 years. These folks have seen me through all my major life experiences. They've seen me in my marriage, they've seen me through raising children, they've seen me through a loss of a parent, they've seen me through a divorce, they've seen me through a remarriage, and unfortunately they've seen me through some very tough family sicknesses. These people are very important to me and they've almost become part of my family. So if you're part of a Sunday school class now, you know how very special this is. But I'm not unique. All these people, I believe, share a very similar um, relationship with these people in their lives. Now, if you're not part of a Sunday school class, that's okay. We have got some great options for you. Do you know that we've got over 16 different Sunday school classes here? And they range from young adults 
all the way to our golden seniors. And they do all kinds of different formats from strict Bible study to current events. So I'm confident and I promise you, you can find a class that would be perfect for you. So this is what I want you to do. If you go to the uh, hallway, there is a brochure for Just Sunday Schools. Take a look at that. Look through it. See if there's anything in there that you like. Then give a call to the front office. They'll recommend a couple classes that you might like to visit. They're set up a visit. You can come in. You can spend some time getting to know some of these folks and see for yourself just how special these organizations and these classes are. So give it a try. Embrace it. And you might just find a whole new family.